Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. Today is on the 12th of April 2023. This is GMTV. Today we are bringing you a news about this policeman that is slapping people on the street, in the road, um, on the viral video that just came up about 2-3 days ago. Um, their name has been revealed for everybody to see and their faces as well. They are also their identities have been revealed as well. So revealed, this is from um, Sahara Reporter News. He said, revealed names, faces of Nigerian policemen who reportedly flogged, slapped man on Potakot Road in Vara videos. And he stated, he said, this name are also, he said, it's, it's the three policemen who were identified as Inspector Adeja and the uh, Siaka, Inspector Friday Obaka and Sergeant Ndewa Ubari who soon face trial. Okay, and he continued, he said, the Nigerian police force has revealed the identities of the policemen involved in the assault on passengers in Port Harcourt Road, the River State capital, on Sunday. It said the three policemen who were identified as Inspector Adejo, Siaka, Inspector Friday, Obaka, and Sergeant Indewa Ekbu Bari would soon face a trial. A further, state, a further stated, Sahar reporter said, on Monday that the police officer force headquarters ordered the arrest of the officers seen in a viral video assaulting a man and other passengers. In a viral video, a policeman is seen assaulting a man in the middle of a road and an incident that happened on Sunday at Emoha Junction East West Road in Port Harcourt. The officers and his colleagues were not in approved uniforms, but were armed. In the video, one of the officers was seen assaulting the man with a stick before slapping him repeatedly and subsequently forcing him to enter a vehicle. In another viral video, one other officer forcefully pushed other passengers to their car and and cocked his gun. However, following a public outcry, the police authority condemned the action of the policemen, saying their conduct doesn't represent the character of the Nigerian police force, nor it is the practice in the force. Parading them at the force headquarters on Tuesday, the force public Relation Officer CSP Olu Miyewa Ade Jobi gave her gave their names as Inspector Adejo Siaka, Inspector Friday Obaka, and Sergeant Ndewa Buebari from River State. Adejobi, who posted a picture of the three policemen on its, his Twitter handle, wrote Inspector Adeja. Siaka, Inspector Friday Obaka, and Sajet Ndewa Babari from River State. These are the men who slapped a man on a road in Rivers. They reported at the first headquarters today. Trial will soon commence. We will update you as soon as possible. Thanks. The River State Commissioner of Police, CP Okon O. F. Young, had ordered the immediate arrest of the officers. F. Young gave the directive in a statement issued through a command spokesman, CP Grace Iringe Oko, who said the officers had been identified. According to police spokesman, the officer carried out the unprofessional conduct at the Elibora Da Junction and the Moha in Portacot. 
She noted that as a defender of human rights, the CP also assured members of the public that the officers would be investigated in the line with extent rules underlying the conduct of police personnel, stressing that appropriate sanctions will be meted out to them accordingly. He further stated, the command further assures the good people of the river state of its unalloyed commitment to promoting the rule of law. People are enjoined to report cases of human rights abuse and infraction to the command, the state added. And uh, also it continues, some people said on a comment, he said, God bless whoever video that incident. The worst policemen in Nigeria are in rivers, Anambra and Edo State. They are demons. That's, that's, that's for someone else. And that's another one said, why is Nigeria police acting like an army of occupation? As it was during the colonial times, these evil smoking um, motogs should first full wrath of the law enough of assault and extra judicial killing yeah we we'll need to add to this very one you see this is how they go about assaulting people innocent people killing people like as you can see their faces they are they look helpless in a way like uh, they have been maltreated but at the same time if you look at them properly you can see the faces of poverty in them they don't have human sympathy they can do anything to have whatever they want to have that is how they've been trained all the police army any person service serving in the government or in the authority they all behave the same way all these ones are not an exception because no matter what they do to them they're not they're still not going to change because there's still other friends of theirs they're still perpetrating all these evils going around collecting money from people i think one of them here escorted one of the passengers to the um, cash machine or to the atm to go and withdraw all the whole money in the account that is that's a robbery but in the in the in nigeria people will see it as if oh this is normal because once they have an uh, arm on their hands people are always scared to go close to them because they are not predictable because they can harm you in any way and they will say something that you are an arm robber that's why or you are trying to uh, take their gun away from them or arm or you're trying to force them or you you're trying to run away why they stop you because you look like a suspect so this is all they do in nigeria most especially in nigeria is very bad the police people have to be changing the way they narrate things because they they are doing the job to protect the citizens not to kill the citizens well this is where we're going to stop for now this is gm tv please do us a favor to subscribe share like a comment as well and also wait for our next video thank you for watching bye for now